Hello everyone, Mike Agliola for Student Stock in a brand new office, which we will show you what that's about uh, pretty soon. We'll let you meet everybody and see the new place. So we're growing. Uh, here's the tutorial we're gonna do today. I'm gonna show you how to put these pictures, your photos, and make them look like they're inside of a book. So there's gonna be a couple assumptions that we need to do first. Um, you're gonna need to have photographed a book. It doesn't matter if it's blank pages, like this one is, or whether it's a book with pictures. I'm gonna show you how to do this. Here's what we do. Let's go to our blank book. And I've already done a couple things on this image that just to save us some time, I've put um, layers already in here. I've, here's the uh, marching ants of those layers. But what you're going to have to do with any book is cut out the front page of each one. Um, there's the right page right there with marching ants and there's the left one. Once you do that and you make layers out of it, like I've done on this one, here you go. You can see I can move that layer around. That's what I'm expecting you to be able to do um, and to be able to push command and turn on uh, marching ants on those layers. So once you've got that going, next thing you need to do is open up the pictures that you're going to want to use. And I've picked these two. It's one of my images here, and here's another one. And I'm going to put those two images, let's make them bigger, side by side. So first thing I need to do is be able to take those pictures and drag them onto this book. So I'm taking this first one and I'm dragging it over onto this picture right here. So from picture to picture, next thing I need to do is I need to size it. And here's what the whole lesson is about. This is where we're going to use transform and we're going to use lots of different parts of transform. On this one, we're going to transform under edit and we're going into distort because we want this to fit on this page right over here. So I move it close. Next thing I need to do is I want to change the opacity of this picture so that I can see where the page is underneath it. So I go to opacity and I just drop it down low. Doesn't matter that I can't see the entire picture. What's important is I can see my bounding corners. So I take this one, put it to this corner, this one to this corner, and I just follow and I get as close as I can to exactly where I believe the book should be. Now you can see I'm missing right up here and I'm too low down here. So I go back up to edit, transform, and this time I go to warp. And I grab this top part and you see how I can cur curve it and make it fit right on the page. I do the same thing with this bottom one. Now I would spend a little more time to be exact, but right now this is just for you guys to practice. Once I have that, hit return, and now I can go back to opacity, turn up, and there's my picture on there, shaped like the page. I'll quickly do that with the other one, just so you get a repeat of this. This is this photo right here. So I take that photo, drag it onto my picture. It's way too big. So I'm going to need to make it smaller. I wasn't expecting that, but that's one of the things we're going to do in this Photoshop things. So when I run into the unexpected, you're going to see how you handle it. So this is way too big. I'm holding shift and I'm transforming it so that it's much closer in size. There we go. Then I go back to transform again under edit, distort, I change my opacity so I can see through the picture, put my bounding box right where I want it. That's close, that's close. I go back to transform and this time I use warp and I make it fit on that page. See how you can go all over the place? Make it fit right on that page. That's close enough. Hit return. 
Next thing I do is bring the opacity back up. Once that's up, I've got my picture halfway done. That's all we're going to do right now for today. Um, next one is I will show you how to make this image look like this one. Actually, we're going to have to make it look like this one. With the real pages on there. I'm going to show you how to make shapes like this. So you can see the, the pictures are curved. That'll be the second part of this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Mike Agliello for Student Stock. Be back pretty soon.